You want to give them a reason to buy it. How can you improve their quality of life? How can you make their lives easier? You know, you got to understand why people buy. People don't really buy just because they think you're a nice guy. People don't buy just to help you out. I wish they did. People buy because it meets one of their basic needs. It makes them happy. You know, it helps make their lives easier. It saves them time. Helps them lose weight. You know, if you can make them thinner, richer, better looking, sexier. I mean, those are the hot buttons. That's why you see, you know, all the weight loss stuff now. You know, it astounds me. People sit home watching TV, watching people lose weight on TV. Eating potato chips while they do. Uh, how can you save them time, save them money, save their relationships? Relationships are a very big market, huge market. Uh, what itch do they have that you can scratch? That's the, that's the question. What is it that you can do for them? What need do they have that you can meet? Okay? This is why you go to the market really before you create the product. Because knowing what you know from your research will help you pull all this together. Conceptualize the product. Now, this is where you got to put your brain to work. This is where a lot of people stumble. I've had so many people, you know, in my mentoring class tell me, well, I just, I don't have a clue. I don't know how to create a product. I'm not good at anything. God didn't give me any gifts. I don't have any special talents. I don't have any special skills. I don't believe that. I believe that most people have the ability to do this. I think you either have a skill, you have an interest, you have a hobby, you have a talent, you have a vocation, you have a gift. I am a firm believer that, that God gave everyone gifts, everyone in this room. The only thing is you may not have found it yet. I hate it when people are like, God didn't give me no gifts. Well, you know, maybe you weren't there the day they were passing them out. I don't know. I think everyone does, but I think if you don't think you do, you just haven't found it. And when you find your gift, that's what will really help you blossom. You know, one of the things that I really love seeing is someone doing what they really love. You know, I've got really good friends who are, are millionaires who hate their job, hate their life, hate their kids, hate their wife. Are they happy? No. They've got plenty of money, but they haven't figured it out. They figured out how to make money, but they haven't figured out that how much money you have is not the best measure of success. And that's a whole other sermon we'll do Sunday morning. 